Hello friends, today we are going to learn LDA instruction of 8085 microprocessor. Over here, LD stand for load, A stand for accumulator or we can say that load accumulator direct. Let's try to understand format of this instruction. Because of this instruction, what is going to happen? This instruction will simply transfer the content of given address in accumulator let's take example to understand it clearly suppose instruction is lda 7050h then this address is 7050 and on this 7050h address some data is there suppose 22 is stored on this then what will happen because of this it will get loaded directly inside the accumulator so 22 value will get loaded inside the accumulator now what will be addressing mode of this instruction okay addressing mode of any instruction totally depends on operand of that instruction now in this lda instruction operand is address that's why addressing mode will be direct addressing mode whenever operand is address its addressing mode becomes direct addressing mode Let's talk about group of this instruction. Since we are transferring data from memory to accumulator, that's why this instruction belongs to data transfer group. Now let's talk about how many byte of instruction it is. It will be a three byte instruction. Why three byte instruction? Because let's write example LDA 7050H. So in this LDA will take first byte 70 will be the second byte and 50 will be the third byte so whenever you see a four digit number in instruction then it will be a three byte instruction if two digit number is there then it will become two byte instruction and if no digit is there then it will be a one byte instruction so it is very simple to remember if four digit number is there three byte instruction Suppose two digit number is there. Let's take example ADI 37H. Since two digit number over here, then it will be a two byte instruction. And if no digit is there in instruction, example is NOP. Okay. No digit is there. That's why it will be a one byte instruction. If two digit number is there, then it will become two byte instruction. And if four digit number is there, then it will become three byte instruction. So these are certain shortcuts that you can remember to determine the length of the instruction. Flags. How many flags this instruction is going to affect? This instruction is not going to affect any flag because this instruction belongs to data transfer group. Flags are getting affected only when we perform certain arithmetic or logical operation on that data. Now over here no flags are affected. Let's take example over here. Suppose example is LDA 7000H. Because of this, what will happen? We will have to check what was the previous content of accumulator. So we will talk about its before execution content. So before execution, let's say accumulator was 23H and the content of 7000H address was 55H. Now what will happen the content of 7000 will get loaded inside the accumulator therefore after execution of this instruction your content of accumulator will become 55h whereas the content of 7000h will remain unchanged so it will remain 55h let's take one more example to understand it clearly so suppose instruction is lda 2000h so 2000H will be treated as address. So before execution, we should check the content of accumulator. Let's say it is 00H and content of 2000H. Suppose it is 10H. So because of this instruction, it will load accumulator with the content of address. So content of address is 10H. This 10H will get copied inside the accumulator. Therefore, accumulator will become 10H, whereas the content of 2000H will remain same. Therefore, 2000H will remain 10H. Now, here are some practice problem. You can solve them. 
and write your answers in comments. So before execution, content of accumulator is 22H and content of 5020H is 35H. Then what will happen after execution of LDA 5020H? This is problem number one. And problem number two is, let's say before execution, content of accumulator is 17H and on 3845H, data is 66H. Then after execution of LDA 3845H, what will be the content of accumulator? Write your answers in the comments. Thank you.